a certain was amount. Was that your of, way of telling me to quit talking? <laughs> <laughs> there was a certain amount of hand wringing about political uh, topics. So um, to switch gears a little bit, I mean, one of the, the things I think that this community talks about sometimes is that when people speak in a human voice, other human beings recognize it. And I think that one of the things we, my sense is one of the things we get from our politicians is stuff that doesn't sound like the real true human voice coming through, whether it's PR people or spin or, you know, poll results. And so as you podcast and blog yourself, I, and I guess maybe my fundamental question is, is at your level, do you know, do you, can you hear it in your own voice when you're like kind of slipping into the non-human polished speech? <laughs> <laughs> or, like, I would think it takes effort to, like, correct for that, right? We all do it when we get in a public forum. But if you, can, can I talk about it from, from this side? It, it, here's the problem. The problem is that we're so trained and so conditioned over a long period of time that, that being normal and real and authentic requires you to shed that conditioning. And it is not an easy thing to do. Uh, most politicians don't even try. I mean, they, they like to stay in their safe zone. And their safe zone is to be plastic and say the same things over and over and never be, never be normal, never be real. I, I'll tell you that the answer is yes, I can feel it. I feel, my own view is, now we'll talk about the presidential election. My own view is the next president of the, of the United States, or certainly the one after, is most likely to be the single candidate who doesn't sound like a politician, who doesn't sound like everything that everybody hears on television. But I want to tell you on a personal level, I'm trying every way I know how not to do it. But it's hard. It's not easy. Because what happens is it's easy to do if you're just sitting around talking to people, but it's very hard to do if you're in an environment where reporters are asking you questions because it comes very fast. It's intense, the lights are on, cameras are rolling, and you have to think very quickly. You don't have a lot of time. And so it's hard in that environment to just be normal, you know. But I think uh, I'm, I'm trying to retrain and recondition myself that when I get asked a question to actually answer it, <laughs> to, uh, to not say what I've been trained to say, to not say what's careful and cautious. Uh, but it, the, the, the podcast that Elizabeth and I have done, uh, I, I, I can tell when I'm doing, in fact, Elizabeth will punch me when I'm doing it and say, there you go, politician, you know, stop it. And, and I, I, I'm getting a lot better at it, but it's not gone. Uh, and I think it's, a, it's not an easy thing. It's a very hard thing. We've been trained to do the wrong thing. That's the problem. Difficult, but we got some people standing. If we can just keep the questions short. <coughs> And the answer short, maybe everybody get a chance to answer the question. Can a girl that, that ask was, a question? Now, wait a minute. I've been on city council for 20 years, so, so I know yeah. there's short answers, too. Uh, Senator, as a graduate of the university in Durham, North Carolina, that you didn't like their basketball team, I want to make two comments. Uh, number one, uh, how are you going to overcome the notion that you were a trial lawyer at one point in time in your life? And secondly, uh, as a historic and long-term Democrat who's never voted for a Republican and has worked in most elections since uh, walking for Eugene McCarthy in Snow, Wisconsin. I d do you think that we're capable of doing what it takes to win? Um, absolutely, I think we're capable of doing what it takes to win. Uh, I think there is a, a battle going on for the soul of the Democratic Party, just to be blunt. And uh, I think that battle is between those who think that this is not the camp I'm in. Those who think that triangulation and moderation and, and care, very careful political maneuvering and half steps is where our party needs to go because it gets us to the political center and that's where we need to be. Um, I just, my view is that you exhibit strength and the ability to lead by big ideas. I don't mean crazy ideas, but big ideas big ideas that you're willing to stand behind with some backbone. And I think that's where our party needs to go, and that's how we will win. Uh, we uh, won't win any other way. And the sec <clears throat> second, I'm sorry, I just want to finish. It's okay. And the, and the, no, I've now forgotten. Uh, oh, trial lawyer. Uh, I'm not going to try that. I'm proud of being a trial lawyer. 